Does the thought of cardiac arrest make your heart skip a beat? Hi, I'm Megan, and welcome to Scary Symptoms, the show that carries you away with the possible catastrophes inside your body. Maybe it's an inside job. Heartbreak is the least of your worries when it comes to what a pain in your chest could really mean. We've all woken up with that tension just right here, and it's easy to fear the worst. Let's explore the dark possibilities through the tale of one girl's pain in the chest. Meet Maggie. Maggie's a 21-year-old art history major who lacks self-control when she's around bite-sized snacks. She's known for letting her to-do lists pile up and instead spends her time socializing, painting, or binge-watching TV. Choosing between fun or work was the least of Maggie's worries, when one morning she woke up feeling an intense, sharp pain around her chest. Even though she could still move her legs, she felt like she was paralyzed because she couldn't move her upper body without feeling excruciating pain, even just breathing hurt. Maggie immediately thought that maybe she had adult onset asthma from sweeping under her bed. It had been a long time since she had thoroughly cleaned, and she remembered coughing a lot the night before when she was stirring up a colony of dust bunnies. Before Maggie finished checking to see if she could Amazon Prime that inhaler, she remembered her cousin Kelly once had horrible chest pains from a poorly fitted bra. A quick internet search confirmed that the wrong size bra could actually cause costochondritis, which is when the cartilage that connects your ribs to your breastbone becomes inflamed. We always knew bras were evil. Then Maggie thought back to two days earlier when she had gone to a professor's art opening. She remembered marveling at how intricately small some of these hors d'oeuvres were, and honestly, she downed so many that she started to panic. Maybe she didn't bother to chew the delicious tiny apps at all. Could she have accidentally ingested a toothpick? And that might sound ridiculous, but I actually read an article once about a guy who swallowed a toothpick on his own night of inhaling appetizers. He didn't realize that he had a toothpick in him until months later when he started having chest pain and coughing up blood. At first, doctors thought what they saw in his x-rays was a loose catheter, but in surgery, they discovered that he had a full toothpick stabbing him in the heart. Don't underestimate the power of chewing. It could save a life. <laughs> Luckily for Maggie, her roommate was a personal trainer and was quickly able to identify this as pectoral strain. Turns out that after feeling guilty about eating what was probably like 658 appetizers, Maggie had gone on a guilt trip to the gym. And this wouldn't normally be a big deal, but since it had been a while since her last workout, she decided to really jump in full force. Small tears and muscle fibers are completely normal and pretty unavoidable when working out, but they become an issue when they're extreme and could even require surgery. She hadn't even considered this to be the culprit of her now defunct chest. Maggie wasn't going to stop breathing, nor was her bra trying to kill her. She was most definitely experiencing pectoral strain. So the next time you're inspired to work out, make sure you don't go from zero to 100. Stretch, hydrate, and gradually work your way into the super intense stuff. And don't forget to chew your food. Thanks for watching this video. Tap that like button and leave us a comment down below about what your scariest symptoms are. <sighs> that doesn't get weird. <laughs> Subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos, and I'll see you next week.